I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane Hey, greetings everybody! Welcome back to Downtime Live. In the studio today, I've got Ronnie Green from A Fishing Story. Now, Ronnie, we always talk about how power poles can help you on the water when you're fishing. You recently found out how power poles can help you as a TV producer. And I know as being someone that has a, you know, trying to film on a boat is tough uh, because you're always rocking and, and you know, pitching mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and trying to get that good shot while you're bouncing around can be tough. But a power pole is one of your main tools when you're out there and things don't necessarily go as planned. Yeah, and because that's one of the things you, with, with production, you're planning shot lists, you're planning cameras, you're thinking about the weather, you're thinking about the fish, you're thinking about a lot of different things. But one of the things you must think about when you live in the state of Florida is the weather change. So the weatherman can say one thing, but it can change in a heartbeat. And sure enough, it did. 40 mile an hour winds came out of nowhere. And guess what? We bought the right cameras. We bought all the right fishing gear. We caught the fish. We did everything we we're supposed to. But one of the things that we had that nobody else had was the power poles. <laughs> and why is that important? Because it literally sat us in place. And we were able to film without any rocking. So in post, a lot of things won't be a little bit tricky, where it may not pass QC. You know <laughs> what I'm talking about. So it was um, unbelievable. And at the same time, the person that I had in my boat is a follower of some of the competitive products of Power Pole. And let's did, just say... Did it work out for him? No, it didn't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he got a demo and didn't realize he got a demo. And he was so excited. He said, you know what, Ronnie, this is the real deal. This is a unbelievable demo. And we kept it organic in the show. And at the same time, we were running a trolling motor as well, doing a lot of different things. And next you know, we we're selling a charge as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if we're allowed to talk about the. Um, oh, the, um, who cares? It's out there. That's right. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I like about your show is it's all about telling that story. It's you know you literally call it a fishing story. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a longtime journalist and longtime sports writer, uh, I'm always enthralled with the act of storytelling. And you know, that was one of the things I loved about my former life is that every day was trying to find that new story. Where do you kind of come up with these inspirations and where do you find your stories to tell for your show? A lot of the stories comes from our great audience and thank you so much. Our audience is such great contributors to our storytelling and finding great stories. And the great thing about that is they'll be involved. When you're involved with the building process, you'll definitely want to see the end result. And so because of our audience, we get a lot of great guests. And then uh, we nurture that story uh, to the best of our ability, and of course, through the portal of fishing. And uh, it's just been incredible. You know, fishing is kind of a, a, a very fertile ground for that storytelling. You know, why is that? I think it's because fishing is related to uh, what we are. So we're made up of a, a lot of water. And where we fish, whether it's salt water or fresh water, it's a lot of water. So we go and visit when we're on the water, our kinfolk, meaning the water, because it's a part of who we are. The fish just happen to be the byproduct, but we're all connected through water. Because some people will go out. I know when I fish with my wife, she's in the back reading a book or something. But at the same time, she's still getting the same experience, except in a different way. Because she's enjoying the water, she's enjoying the wind, she's enjoying mm -hmm. all the nature, I'm enjoying the sport part of fishing and the water. So it's a connection there. What is the best story? What's your favorite story that you've ever told on your show? Well, I think there's, there's so many good stories, but one of the, the, the most incredible stories that I had an opportunity to tell was a story I did with my father. It was a very difficult show because I had to be a professional and tell his story mm -hmm. and try to talk without being an emotional wreck because I found out some things that I didn't know, even about my father's past. Some, you know, we all have family that like to talk about things, and there's, there's a side of family that nobody wants to talk about certain things, and it's like, oh, he never talks about that. My dad is that way. Certain things he just didn't talk about, but he talked about it on the show, and it was so enlightening for me, and it was just so fulfilling to be able to 
extract that information through the portal of a fishing story. Very nice. Well, why don't you tell all of our fans? I say all of our fans. I think, you know, we just started. So, yeah. Which brings us to a good point. Subscribe down below. <laughs> so, why don't you tell our dozens and dozens of fans uh, where they can catch you, what stories you're going to be telling here, and uh, where they can see it? Well, you can see us every single Saturday on CBS Sports at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let me tell you, we have some incredible stories this year. We have a psychologist. We have a pharmacist. We have, of course, some veterans. We have some professional entertainers, athletes, the whole nine yards. Everyone has a story. And, oh, by the way, we've got three people who have never touched a fishing rod, but they got a great story, and they caught them. Ah, very nice. Hey, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, we'll pop these out whenever we can. Uh, if there's someone you want me to talk to, something you want me to ask, uh, put it down in the comments below. So until then, how do you spend your downtime? <laughs> <laughs>